I did everything right except unmuting my own microphone. So when I said I think mm -hmm. I did it right, that did not end up in the recording. But never mind about that. Hello, and welcome to Pack Tactics Season 3, Kobolds in Space. This is the 5th edition homebrew Dungeons & Dragons game. My name is Crash, I will be your DM for the evening, and with me this evening are a bunch of awesome people, including Chris, Ellie, Jen, Cindy will be joining us in a little bit, Beth is hanging out in chat, and uh, what happened last time? I got Kobold Map. Yep. We fought undead giants and an necromancer whom we suspect to be a blue dragon, and our mechs got kind of beat up, but we all survived, oh, except... You know. <laughs> hmm. Except Kendrick's is invisible. Um, <laughs> I believe the, I believe the assumption is that the the suspected blue dragon has cobalt napped the the wizard. We can't rule out invisible. <laughs> and, you, you can rule it out. I don't think I have invisibility as a spell. And blue dragons are known for their ice based attacks because the cockpit for Kendrick's is not a megazord. I will <laughs> not call it a megazord. But the cockpit for Kendrick's is not a Megazord was filled with ice. And also because Kendrick's was kidnapped extrajudicially. Now that I get is it. a word. Now I get that it. That is a word. <laughs> no, now I get it. <laughs> I'm not even going to clarify. <laughs> okay, so Kendrick's, you are in a room. It's a nice looking room. Okay. There, there, there's a nice looking carpet with geometric patterns woven into it on the floor. Uh, you are sitting in a chair that's at a table with a few other chairs that look nice. They've got some upholstery on them. There's there's tapestries hanging on the walls. There's several windows on one side, a door on the other. And you don't remember getting here. You remembered piloting a giant robot. Actually, you remembered piloting one of the limbs of a giant robot. And then you were here. Hey, hello? I should also add, the chairs are definitely not scared. Uh, scared, yeah. The chairs are not afraid of you. They have I'm passed a... their intimidation check. Uh, the, the, they are mimics. The am I tied down? You are not tied down. The chairs are scaled for medium-sized creatures, of which you are do, not. Do I have my tome on me? Did they take my tome? You seem to have all of your equipment on you, except for the giant robot. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's see. I am going to... Let's see if I have it prepared. Not... That is annoying. So, um, I'm not going to do that then. Uh, going to detect magic, but I don't have it prepared. Okay. <clears throat> I am going to walk around a little bit. Uh, you, okay. said there was, you said there was chairs. Do I see any other people or any entities around? Inside this room? No. Any doors? There is one wall that has several windows, and then there is a wall opposite of the windowed wall that has a single door. I would like to look out the window. You see a city. It is quite possibly the largest city you have ever seen. Uh, the buildings, you can't see how far down they go. You don't see ground. And... You see tops of some buildings, but then there are other buildings that start above the buildings that stop. I click my fingers and hope Gar appears, my raven. Does he? No. Oh. Hmm. Well, definitely not in Coombridge anymore. No, you're not. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, I swivel around to where the sound of the voice came from. and okay, really, you, see, um, you see a human sitting at the table who was definitely not there before. I have a firebolt in my hand ready to you do not. roll, but it's not. Oh, okay. I try to charge up a firebolt. Yeah. Um, I thought that might happen, so uh, I decided to not let that happen. Sorry. Again. Uh, and by the way, this particular uh, person, your, give me an insight check. I'm not terrible at these. Uh, oh, 14. 14. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, you'd have them pegged to be human, maybe with a little bit of elf, but not enough elf genetics to be considered a half-elf. Um, in a totally racist stance, elves decide that it, you're only half-elf if you are 50% elf or more. If you are 90% elf with 10% human, you're still half-elf. But never mind about that. Um, and Cindy has just joined us. Fantastic. Hello. Hello. Um, so we've just started. 
and we are having a, a moment with Kendrix, somewhere where Kendrix has never been before. Uh, but this particular human has uh, long flowing hair that has a slightly bluish tint to it and uh, very, very pale eyes. You, you you would almost say that the iris is white, but it it, it is a little bit of color to it. Just not much. Did What's you just that? Pick, did you just put Calicles into your game? No. No, I did not. Uh-huh. Also, Calicles, if I remember correctly, him? is a guy, and this person is not. Calicos is what? Calicos is is a male, and this person in front of you has some noticeably female ca- characteristics. Oh, fair. Okay. You just break Also, <laughs> the, I will table talk just briefly to tell you the person in front of you is not a dragon. Okay? That I know. That you know of, yes. But they are not currently going, Hi, I'm the, the leader of the Blue Dragon Flight. They're not doing that. Sure. So, um, who are you? Who am I? Well, you're the one that just kidnapped me. Well, I had questions, and it seemed like a good way to get the questions answered without a giant robot trying to kill me. So, yeah. Look, person, I don't know who you are. I don't know where we are, but I'm getting out of here. Oh, sure, you're going to get out of here, definitely. But, uh, you don't have any means of getting out of here. That you know of. Would any of your attempts to get out of here involve magic in any way, shape, or form? I can dig. So but you didn't see that one coming. No, I did not see that coming. And also, you would have a very hard time of it. All right. All right. All right. So you've kidnapped me with no knowledge of who I am or who... who I've got some knowledge. I know you're a kobold. I know you use magic. I know you somehow have giant robots on the moon. Mm -hmm. But I'm trying to figure out what's going on with all of the... Look, it was very confusing. I went to the moon with certain expectations. I found giants... Was not yep. expecting that. They're bad, they're bad people. Very bad people. Well, I kind of figured that out. I killed a few, brought oh, them good. back as my allies. Not so good. Well, so good on the well, you were trying to kill them after I killed them, so you're one well, to talk, mister. That's because that's because anytime the giants show up heading towards us, they try and murder us. So we saw giants. Yes, I noticed. That's us. why I killed them. All right. Let's, let's let's start over. Okay? Okay? Okay. What is your name? My name is... DM check his notes to make sure he says it correctly. <laughs> Sclerora, Sclerora Springweather. Sclerora? Sclerora. I'm just going to call you Rory for short. Please mm. don't. My name is Kendrick. Kendricks. A pleasure to meet you. Why are you here? And what is this? I'm and here because it's I my home. I direct out towards the city. I'm here because it's my home. Right. And this is the city. Just the city. Well, it's what we mostly call it. Its actual name is a bit of a mouthful. Mm-hmm. And you've heard my first name, so I'm saying something. But it's we, we call this area uh, Vetus Orbis Terrarum. Vetus Orbis Terrarum. Yes. It's a rather nice city, except for you know, oh, some beautiful. of the stuff. Oh, it, it, it's, it's great from a distance. Really, Most it is. Cities are. Most cities are great from a distance. Then you get to the nooks and crannies, and that's when things become toxic. Oh, you don't need to get that far. The Tarrasque is several blocks in that direction. Son of a... <laughs> to be fair, it's not really the Tarrasque. It's kind of like an echo of the Tarrasque. It's, uh, it's complicated. I'm getting too old for this. Mm, okay. You're telling me. Okay, okay. What do you want to know? Because clearly you're very powerful. You brought me here completely dampened my magic and any ability to escape. And not to toot my own horn, but I'm, I'm fairly powerful myself. Oh, I, I know. And, and to be fair, it's not just me that's dampening your magic. It's kind of the the, the building we're in right now. It, you have to be one of a small handful of individuals to be able to use anything that you would call magic. Mm-hmm. And To further answer your questions, I went to the moon because uh, we were a little concerned with a certain device that happens to be on the moon. 
possibly falling into the wrong hands, and I thought I'd go and make sure it was safe. And then everything went wrong. Right. I know that I'm pretty confident on the device you're talking about. Pretty confident. Um, it is in proper hands of people who would not use it for evil do evil deeds. Oh, I'm okay with evil stuff. What? Most people who say evil don't really know what evil is. I mean, there, no one sits around with a mustache twirling it going, ha, 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 I'm going to be evil today. Okay, that's not true. I know three that's people who actually true. like doing that. Yeah, but I know they, they're kind one. of outliers. For the most part, it, it's not everyone who says that they're evil is really that bad a person once you get no. to know them. Most of them are, mis are, are misjudged. Most of them are are in their own mind doing the right thing. There is no such thing as a there is no such thing as a purely evil individual. I'm talking to a kobold right now. I think that pretty much sums it up. Hey, I'm a I, I'm a good person. I like long walks on the beach just as much as anybody. I don't like the sand. It gets everywhere. And it's it's fine with scales. Anyway, the concern was that there are certain interests that are doing things and stuff that I'm not really supposed to share everything with you because then this would be a two-hour episode that's just exposition. Oh, wait, sorry. Um, ignore that fourth wall over there. Yeah, fourth, fourth um, wall, buddy. Keep, keep it at a catch. <laughs> you look over the fourth wall and you see a bunch of people sitting in front of computers and you have no idea what's going on and they pull a curtain across. Keep that fourth wall intact. Someone dressed in a red and black outfit yells at you for a little while. Um, and it, in all honesty, kobolds on the moon guarding the thing on the moon, that's good in most situations, except there might kind of sort of be a back door. Sort of. Not really a back door. Metaphorical back door. Not a physical back door, but a back door into the device. Well, to hmm. open up the device. Maybe lead with that next time? I tried... Did you see the giants? Yeah, the yeah. giants heading towards us. The giants have been trying to kill us. Our logical defense and our instant thought was protect the base. Yes, and okay, there was there was there a lot of go. wrong feet. Uh huh. And everyone started off on them. Uh huh. And I just want you mm -hmm. to tell your friends that I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. For the confusion. Uh-huh. And if they see any blue smoke, they should run for their lives, probably. You're a dragon. What? Blue smoke. Is... Well, it's... I could explain what it is, but you probably don't have the vocabulary for it. Uh, essentially, um... Did you know there's something trapped inside that device? Did I know there was something trapped inside that device, or did I have any inkling that there might have been? Um, hmm, that's a very good question. That reveal was made before Ken Kendricks joined the party, so how much of that information would have been shared with Kendricks? That's a question for everyone else. And everyone else is muted because this is your part. I know, right? <clears throat> uh, Zenosha would have been willing to share. Okay. It's a shame the campaigns didn't uh, are, are not mixing together because I have no intention of doing that again. You, if you'd spent like five seconds with Gorga, you probably would have learned everything. Okay, so between Zenosha and Neri... They would have shared the information. I imagine Chroma would have spilled everything instantly as well. Probably. Okay. Let's be honest. Yes. Um, because Chroma likes helping, and there's nothing wrong with that. But what's that machine? On the other hand, Chroma spilling everything instantly might have been a cue for Kendricks to sort of tune out. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, actually... I no, I Kendricks has the keen mind feet. Yeah, Kendricks doesn't uh, have to okay. actually listen. Kendricks, Kendricks can just kind of zone out and still take in the information. Gotcha. Mental note, add an NPC where the keen mind feet is a detriment and not a benefit. Oh, wait, I already invented Kevin. Never mind. Um, I can hear everything. Too much. <laughs> By the way, which one is north? You don't know. <laughs> keen mind feet would tell me that. If there's a north... You would know. Oh, okay. So it's it's not a matter of you would know which way is north instantly. Not if there isn't one. Timey wimey, spacey wacy. What time of day is it? Don't don't tell the time wizard. He can't know what time of day it is. <laughs> Give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, eighteen. Okay. So I'm allowing this because of two things. One, time wizard. Yep. Two, keen mind feet. 
Yeah. If you didn't know any better, the time of day right now is earlier than when you got here. Okay, so I'm, I'm looking around and that kind of clicks. Oh. Chronomancy? Uh, not really, kind of. Dunamancy. It's, it's more along the lines of... Um, it's one of them. Well, you know how different planes of reality don't exactly have time work the same way when you travel from they? one to the other? Where are we? I told you, Vetus Orbis Terrarum. On which plane? I told you, Vetus Orbis Terrarum. I go back to prime material now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So there's a back door. There's a creature. In the, what, what's the creature, by the way? It, it's not really a creature. It's an entity. Okay. And it, it was put there to keep the Tarask a secret. Right. Because if anyone knew the Tarask existed, Which there would be knows. people out there who would decide that it would be a good idea to have it be used as a weapon. Which I think most people now know the Tarask exists. Well, on Circulus, yes. Because apparently a few years ago, um, someone woke it up. Good job, by the way. I, I totally know Daldane. It wasn't Daldane that woke up the Tarask. That's the best part. No, but the the, the characters, <laughs> I think, all think it's Daldane. Oh, the, the party might be assuming that Daldane woke up the Tarask because Daldane was the one singing I'm So Quiet. Yep. But it wasn't Daldane that woke up the Tarask. Yep. Um, anyway, um, so if the entity inside that device gets loose and sees oh, there is this collection of civilizations on Circulus that have ways of traveling to other domains, it's going to go and wreck the place again. So what is the back door? Uh, well, and you would see them as a collection of magical items. Oh, Darren. <laughs> this is new information for this group, but not new information for the campaigns in general. Yep, I think all three campaigns are now working into that. And for the most part, it's fine, but um, there's one of them that actively wants to be broken, and that's a little confusing. All right. Yeah. Uh, one of us is working more closely on that. Um, is it Thandred's one? Really? Okay. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. But basically, I was just trying to take some initiative like I was told I'm supposed to more often uh -huh. and everything blew up in my face and I really wanted to say I was sorry. Okay. I I forgive you if you if you send me back once we finish our conversation. I Oh, I already you. said I'm sending you back. Yes. Yes. I forgive you for let's be quite honest, leaping before you thought about it. Um I am pretty confident the majority of the group would forgive you. Zax might want to throw an axe at you. But other than that, I think... He's welcome to try. Chroma, they'll be... They'll, Chroma will be fine. Chroma forgives everyone. Yeah, I think the majority of the group will be fine. Maybe you might question you. The majority of the group will be fine. That is good to hear. Um, not let the back door open, or are you working on that? Well... Because I think defending the actual structure... We got it. We're good. We're solid. You saw our mecha. You're, you saw our megazord. We're we're good. Uh, a what? Uh, five robots joined together. One big robot. Okay. Yes, but maybe workshop the name a little bit. That that sounds weird. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I like it. Well, what whatever. It, it's we're we're not workshopping names right now. Um, and I'm sure I was getting to a point. I'm sure you were too. Oh, you were asking about the the back door thing. We're we're working on it. Um I think a lot of it's been taken care of. By the way, if you ever go into a castle that seems to sort of change what's inside of it at will, get out of that castle. Don't don't okay. be there. I mean, um, I think that would be just solid advice in general. Reverse. Yes. Well, that that's that's where some of that stuff is right now. Uh, also, um, we're most worried about that crystal, but that's not my problem. That that Glomulero is taking care of that. So uh, basically, you have nothing to worry about unless everything goes wrong somewhere else, in which case we're all doomed. 
Were you supposed to fill me with confidence about all of this? Because you're doing a real bad job. Uh, no. I was just trying to be honest. No, no, I appreciate honesty. Maybe a little bit of sugar sugar coating in the future. Just a little. Okay. Uh, there is a small possibility that small microbes will survive. You gotta work on your bedside manner, dude. There's like... And possibly water bears, because water bears survive everything. Yeah, they're like cockroaches. Only much tinier and cuter. Anyway, um, this is becoming an awkward conversation, so I'm just going to let you get going now. And she snaps her fingers, and you are back inside of your not-Megazord's cockpit. It's currently inside the hangar being worked on by a bunch of cobalts. Um, there was one cobalt that was looking through the window, and they saw you appear. They screamed and fell out of sight. Face answers. <laughs> Walk down the robot and get out. Okay. And you see Chroma doing her very best to organize a collection of low level cobalt artificers and some who might still be cobalt inventors uh, because there's a significant amount of wildlife that's in here that probably shouldn't be in the hangar. Um, trying to retrofit, repair, and recalibrate all of the robots. Chroma appears to have her hands full. Just, I, just, I just I go away. My head's I have too much of a headache to deal with a bunch of artificers. Chroma, I can deal with. Artificers, uh, I'm good. It could be worse. It could be 40 Kenku warlocks. <laughs> oh, By the way, go... in, in the Monday game, we turned that into a play. Oh, wow. Only the, the, the playwright was an NPC. Uh, they decided that hyperbole is best, so it's actually 40,000 Kenku warlocks that descended, that descended upon the city to destroy it, with Paige being the main antagonist. I go and find <laughs> Zax, Neri, and Zenosha, and any kind of alcoholic beverage. <laughs> okay. I will say that you find them in short order. It's a small moon base. Tell me there's alcohol. Um... Give me a survival you can check. Have some of, you can have some of mine if you'd like, but I think you might retract that any kind request. It's isopropyl. Oof. I've had absence before, Gibby. <laughs> Indrix, you're back. How are uh, you back? Uh, That's a good question. Hey, I swig the alcohol. Pass it back to Neri. <clears throat> Make a constitution save. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Sure. <laughs> Uh, ten. You are poisoned. <laughs> oh, no. I will take it. You don't drink rubbing alcohol. This isn't rubbing alcohol. It's just... Neri's got her own still. Ah, so it's ethanol. It's ethanol. It's just... Oh, Smooth <laughs> ethanol. <laughs> Some strong stuff, dear. <laughs> You look at the label to see what the proof is, and it's a number that is um, including imaginary numbers. <laughs> okay, so um, the person that was riding the zombie giants um, apologizes for raising zombie giants and coming at us. Um, I'm confused. Yeah, they kidnapped me to ask me who we were and what was going on. Where are they Have now? Have we had a long rest? I imagine you guys would have. At this point, would've. I'm going to say you've all had a long rest. Right. Would, myself included, because I was kidnapped. Yes. And, okay. You were where, unconscious. Where is that person now? Um, on a different plane of existence. I was just there. Ah. Uh, well, we How all got to different planes of existence on accident. I was. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. But, Jr. But, I was just thinking at it. Don't worry. I, I'm, I'm already thinking that. I I thought everything was locked off. I didn't, I, Oh, not, good uh, point. I was too much in shock about the whole kidnapping, giant city, no magic, not able to determine what north was, and then realizing I was on a different plane of existence, in a different time zone. I've had a long afternoon. Like eastern time, mountain time? <laughs> like back in time. UTC? Like back to the future, hey doc, kind of stuff. Great Scott? Exactly. <laughs> Do we have another, a new god who we need to worship? I've never heard of this Scott. Hmm. 
<laughs> Isn't that the kobold that drops off coffee every morning? <laughs> okay. Where there would be no tribble at all. Exhibition. All power to the engines. Exhibition vomit. I just tell them everything that I was just explained. Okay. <laughs> and then everything gets mopped up. <laughs> and that's <sighs> the afternoon I've had. Wow. Right, if that person comes mid-morning. back... Is it? Wait. I don't know. If, if that person comes back with more zombies that they are won't. giants, they won't? No. Good. If anything, I think they're on our side. I don't know how you can be sure somebody kidnapped you is on your side. Based on what they were saying, based on what I was seeing, based on facts of the events, it, it seems like it was just a big look before you leap type thing. They didn't do that. All right. Well, if they, if they do show up, I'm gonna hit them. I already told them that you're probably the you and maybe Neri are probably gonna be the ones that hurt them if they show up. Yep. I already said that to them. Good. I think, I think they won't. I think I think they're good. I think they're good. Um, but as long as someone doesn't screw up somewhere else, you know, the universe won't come to an end. Wait, what? Max, you weren't listening, were you? I was trying, but all this, like, magic stuff is just too much. I know, don't worry. No. Um, if someone messes up somewhere else and does something with a specific item, the entity inside the object on the moon will be freed and everyone dies. So okay. we have no control and no say in this. We're just kind of the... We're just kind of going along for the ride. You're at ground zero while somebody else is flying overhead in the bomber. Pretty much. I don't like that. I hate it. But there's nothing else we can do because I wasn't given any more information, and I don't think they would have even if I ain't. You could always have this group go up against the critical recovery group, and and, and then <laughs> holds about knockdown drag out fight. Wow. You would, it would take four the hours. Recovery. No, no, it would take. It would they're take level one nine. <laughs> oh right, wrong. Yeah. Actually, no, they're level eight still. They haven't leveled up. They're level eight. That's, you're right. You would level. destroy them. You will have it a would, giant robot. That's it true. Would take one round, maybe two. That's that's. We true. would destroy them without the giant robot. Yeah. Yep. All I, I have to do is level. fireball. Hmm. But yeah, we're at that that that's 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 where we're sitting right now. All right, fine. I'm still really mad that you got kidnapped, so I'm going to go off and find Gox's dojo and break stuff. I'll be back isn't, later. Isn't Gox's dojo on Faerun? He's got one here. He built That's more than one. That's kind of cool. And off I go. So because I'm not going to stick with doing the JR voice right now because I can't be bothered, uh, JR points out that uh, there is, in fact, a siren playing in the background. Um... <laughs> Because you just you just did have a revolution, which is what this is actually about. This comment that you, that Jr. is making, because um, you as a group were planning to do something about Sniv. Oh yeah, wasn't I gonna tell Sniv that they were chasing him or something like that, and they should run? Something like that. Is that the true oh, one yeah. I wanted to do? And, and then you got very distracted by a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to try scrying on Sniv again? If you like. Sure. Ow. I'll still say we leave Sniv to their own devices. Yeah, but it'll be funny this way. At least we'll know where he is. I sit down, I take ten minutes to put out my bits and bobs, and I cast scrying at fifth level. I will say, in those ten minutes, Zax has destroyed multiple training objects that weren't meant to be destroyed in Gox's dojo. And terrified all of the others that are there. <laughs> well, give me an intimidation check. Okay. Let's see. Um, 19 plus 3 for 22. Okay, so with the 22, there, there's, there's a couple that are, like, cheering you on, but the rest of them are bravely on the far Running side away. of the dojo. <laughs> bravely hiding behind bits of rubble that weren't bits of rubble when you entered. So, unless Snev has something that blocks them from scrying, they need to do a 17 wisdom minus 5. You have no idea where Snev is. Okay, so that means that he's got something that blocks scrying, because I would I would have known otherwise. Okay. Correct. <clears throat> oh, he's a sneaky one. They're a sneaky one. They're blocky scrying. I can't, try, I can't find them. 
Sniff's pronouns for the record are he, they. So you can say he, him, you can say they, them. Sniv doesn't care. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, they'll, they're blocking. They're blocking sky, so I can't, I can't try. I can maybe send a message. 25 words, give me something. They're coming for you. You're such a troll. I love it. <laughs> hey, message received, but my name is not Barbara. I'm very confused. Did you mean to send this to somebody else? Yeah, Barbara is at Universal Studios. Yes, I'm going to send Snev a message. Snev, it's Kendrick. Hope you're alive or unwell. <laughs> you need to roll a deception check on that. <laughs> okay. Um, Zenosha has inspiration. And I'm choosing to interpret that as alive or slash and well. Yes. Uh, let us know if you're safe and if we can help. They are coming for you. After all this, many of us inexplicably like Snip. I still don't know why. We were plotting their murder until they were deposed. That no one's like going to murder Sniv before you get to murder Sniv. Uh, so Sniv can respond to that, by the way. 25 characters. Okay. Um, good to hear. I, I gotta think this out. <laughs> um, That's why it was taking me some time, because 25 characters is not a lot to work with. Yes. 25 words. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, uh, as, you were, as you were counting <sighs> things out, I was thinking, you know, punctuation doesn't count towards that. Oh no, someone's going to do a sending that's just emoji. <laughs> how, how was your sending 25 pages? Oh, it's just emoji. It's just all emoji. But never mind about that. That that would be worse than communicating only in memes. I can speak in emoji. Sniv, on the moon, when the walls fell. <laughs> If you're a millennial and can't speak in emoji, you're doing it wrong. I'm not a millennial. <laughs> I am a millennial and I can speak in emoji. It's weird. I, I am older than millennials. Um, but never mind about that. Um, so Sniv's response is good to hear. Doing well. Not sharing where I am. But those who I want to find me can. Good luck. Ah, okay. No, Sniv actually has allies. This is surprising. Technically, Sniv is still an elder. Well, that could be fine. Leader of the Stonetail Clan. It's how that Sniv that was put in charge of the moon. That can be fixed. And there are a lot of Stonetail. Do we trust the Stonetail? Uh, you have historically trusted more than one member of the Stonetail Clan. Okay. Yeah, the problem is that just since kobolds have the ability to live long, but we tend to not. We tend to choose our leaders based off of, oh, you've lived a long time. You must be qualified at this. I feel like we should change that. Well, that, feel, that is that like is true for most leadership. clans, but not all of them do that. I feel like we need new rules to elect leaders. Yeah. I, I did say 10 too, and those aren't hard and fast rules, but that does seem to be the trend. So other Stonetail who you've met, you did meet Erto Stonetail, who is a cobalt inventor. Um, who was quite cowardly, and you helped Ertos fix one of the... I can't believe we called them moonbeams, but we've called them moonbeams. Uh, because they're lasers on the moon, so of course they're moonbeams. Um, but you. also Molo Softjaw, who is a captain of a contingent of dragon shields, is a stone tail because the stone tail clan is large enough that it has a significant number of kobolds who don't have the same surname of Stonetail. We... Okay. I don't know what to do now. What are our plans, people? Well, in fact, Molo and Zax got along splendidly. Mm-hmm. Because... I'm assuming Zax is back with y'all by now. <laughs> yeah, so if you're, ha you're, ha if you're having this conversation, uh, Zax definitely remembers that Molo is a Stonetail. Yep. Well, it sounds like the person you talked to in that other plane of existence killed the cloud giants, or yes, at least a murdered, lot of them. Murdered quite a few, apparently. Also, Molo was in the dojo when you were letting off steam. Oh, huh. maybe maybe Mojo approved. So, Molo, yes, not we Mojo. Should. Molo. Mo Mo <laughs> well, if it was Mojo, then it would be Mojo in the dojo. That can't work, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. But he would be defeated Molo. by three superpowered girls. <laughs> That's where I yeah, <laughs> dyslexia is fun sometimes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, his his I, far actually, I was just can... trying to I was trying to make the reference that has just been made by Chris and Ellie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yes, as far as I'm concerned, we're still facing two major obstacles, the Cloud Giants and the Elf Armada. If this person took care of the Cloud Giants, we probably want to confirm that and and or sweep well, up any survivors. They clearly took care of a few of them, but none of you saw enough undead giants to believe that all of them were taken care of. E- either way, my answer is still time for recon. I think that's probably wise, but first we should let whoever's currently in charge know that Kendrix is back safe and sound. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I okay. don't trust it to be the last guy. <laughs> Okay, so you go to Sniv's old office, uh, where Ingen is, and you can't get to the office. I can have to do this again. Well, the line is moving more thoroughly. There's a lot of people going in with papers. There's lots of people leaving with papers. There's a lot of noise from people shouting to each other, not so much at each other. It's, It's more like they're raising their voices to be heard over the other people who are raising their voices as a lot of stuff is getting done. Or Are we at literally least, seeing democracy in action? Or at the very least, there's a lot of people acting like they're busy. Huh. I am it's going kobolds. to bang my stick against either. the wall. Okay, give me an intimidation check. Okay, it's mostly to try to grab their inten- attention, but... It's uh, going to require intimidation to do that. I have a minus... Oh, I got a zero? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no one even hears your stick, which is a shame because it's some stick. JR comfortably puts a hand on your shoulder. <laughs> oh. Does someone oh, else want to make a loud noise and say, get out of our way, we got to I can business. do that. I can do that, no problem. I, I got no, 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 no. No, oh, why? That's what I'm Sex. What? The way you make a loud noise, I don't think any of us would appreciate it. Technically, it doesn't do any damage, it just stuns you for one round. That wasn't what I was even thinking. I was just going to yell. <laughs> oh, if you were just going to yell. I was just going to yell. I mean, you know. By all means. I'm not going to break, you know, all the cobalt and possibly I, the room we're in. Kendrick, save your spell slots. Oh, but it'll be so funny. <laughs> yes, all right, well, but... which one are we doing then? I was going to say both. Okay. I think mean, Miri is just going to stand back and fold her arms over her chest. And okay. my hand over so, Zax's shoulder. Okay. So how are you assisting right. Zax? Because I know what Zax is doing. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got that. It's so funny. All right. I put we'll my hand this. over Zax's shoulder. You ready, buddy? Yep. Dimension door right in front of the door where the people are. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you shout? I'm going to shout, get out of our way. <laughs> So you dimension door in front of the door. You no longer need them to get out of your way because you are in front of the door and therefore in front of them. And you yell at them to get out of your way. I actually there's well, plenty there's, of people who, you know, the, who are the trying rest to of our, too. The rest of our crew yeah, is a much, out there. Much Give me a funnier way to resolve this. Uh huh. Yeah, the hammer of thunderbolts. But you've each. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I, was I was not even thinking of that. There is. There is. I was not even thinking about that. There's a much much funnier way to to handle what's actually happened, and you've described it. Because they put a dimension door in front of themselves, and they put a dimension door in front of the door that people are coming out of at high speed. Oh no! Yeah, I'm going to end up on the other. Doors, <laughs> Dimension door is one person plus one passenger, and it's one way travel. Oh, so okay. there's there's going to be a collision. I assure you. However, the collision is with Zax, so yeah, I'm not was, rolling I, for that. Like I was, I was making sure Zax was in front. So I was like, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not that brave. Uh, give me an intimidation check at advantage because you are being assisted. Literally appearing right in front of the ball. Who's doing the? I'm You're so disappointed. Zax. Okay, intimidation? Yep, yeah. at advantage. Alright, uh, got a total of a 10 that time. Roll it again. Roll it again? Okay, rolling it again. That's an 8. <laughs> so, basically, you haven't gotten their attention from yelling at them to get out of your way. Now they're all yelling at you to get out of theirs. Uh, whatever. Just gonna jump out. Hmm? 
Miri is making a mental note to work with Kendricks and Zenosha and Chroma to and and possibly <laughs> Zax with some targeted uh, sonic bursts to figure out where the back door to Sniv's office comes out. The, the back door moves. to Sniv's office is the old office, though. The new office doesn't have a back door. Oh. Yeah, we, we had this conversation last time. Okay, here's and, what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do, and this, 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 this should work. I'm going to do... I'm going to slam my staff down, wall of fur, force. Listen up, noobs! <laughs> <laughs> what? We are Does that closed. mean you, noobs? We are Why did my mother name me this? We are closed for lunch. Come back in an hour. It's mid-morning. That's... First we, lunch. We are closed for brunch. Come back in an hour. <laughs> okay, but I'm not clocking out. That's fine. Don't clock out. Just get back in line in the order you were in. That's an order. There was a line? Get back in curve in the order you were in. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell it's late because I thought that was funny. And also, Neri has inspiration. Um, so, you have successfully defeated my get back into the office puzzle. <laughs> and you didn't even need to file any TPS reports. Ironically, the same way we defeated the first get to, co- get to Cobalt's into the office puzzle. Right. Yes, yeah. but that Cobalt is not the first attempt. So, I'm letting it slide that it's a repeat because you tried other more creative things first. All good. Just, the dice were not on your side. All right, so... I pull down the wall of force so everyone else can get in. Okay. Close. As, as soon as you let down the wall of force and everyone else comes in, a bunch of other kobolds attempt to leave and enter. Okay, the ones... The people can leave. No one's coming in. We're on lunch, remember? We're on brunch. Go away. Okay, bye-bye. I left my lunch in here. No, you didn't. I closed the door. Oops. I'm going to stand in the way of the door and, like, block it with my foot like last time. This is... This is... Um... If it's the kind of door you can still shut by putting a stick between the handles, I'll do that with my stick. Considering it's a a magical item and will not be broken by anyone trying to open the door anyway. Mm. I'm going to break the door before it breaks the stick. Yes, and the wall. All right. And and Ingen is just there, sitting at the desk, watching this. Hi, Ingen. We bought you a break. (laughs) Thank you. Also, Kendricks is back. Indeed. Hello. Oh, good. I was worried. Um, and it's been a long morning for all of us. So why don't we take oh, it's five? Oh, morning and, now. Yes. I. Why don't we take five and recombine I've literally been ourselves. here since the last time you were in here. Oh, wow. I thought that might be the case. Are the assistants we recruited for you working out? Uh, well, they only last for so many hours before they despawn, apparently. The, the, the no, little not those, Mr. the little ones, pointy yeah, things, that, not, yeah, not those... the kobolds that you picked at random. Uh, anyway, um, I'm willing to give you a an exhaustive list of everything that's taken place since the last time you were in here, but no. let's do so over the break, because we've been playing for about an hour, as <laughs> Ellie was pointing out. Remember Indeed. that fourth wall? <laughs> Did this room have, only has three did we walls. Ever, ever have a fourth wall? This room only ever has three walls. But never mind about that. Uh, this is, this actually causes point. problems for Zax because if he throws his hammer in the wrong direction, it just keeps going. It hits oh, an man. audience member. <laughs> it hits an audience member. We we're liable and no, no. Everyone who enters has to sign a waiver. <laughs> oh wait, um, no. There was a typo. They have to sign a wafer. Oh. <laughs> That's not oh, that's it, not it, the same thing. Yeah, no, it's not the same thing, and Zex has probably eaten all of the wafers. Okay, but do they drink the wine that came with it? That's the question. <laughs> and that's a joke. Okay, I'm gonna press a button. We'll be back in a little bit. Wrong button!
Christmas song, we want a song that's safe to play. Oh my gosh, that is not a copyright strike. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> also, Joko is a national treasure, but never mind about that. I don't got think us that. rude, we don't want to get sued by the thugs at the RIAA. <laughs> that got turned that into one. a World of Warcraft machinima video as well. Mm-hmm. And the RAA was played by uh, Forsaken. Because of Forsaken. <laughs> of course. So, uh, Ingen has given you a brief rundown of businesses being done. Things are sort of being put in order, but it's all very confusing. It's mostly Kobold handing him things that say, you need to sign here to authorize this thing. So he signs it, and then they leave. And would any of you like to run a government so, look, his name is Ingen. I have to make this joke. I'm sorry. One of the proposals has to be that Kendrix, who is a time mage, wizard. Travel, time wizard, travel back in time to when there were giant prehistoric pigs to get their meat and age it for millions of years so that the kobolds on the moon can have Jurassic pork. So... But then they'd be trading in hog futures. As a point, yes, Time Wizard. I am not Doctor Who. Also, technically, they'd be trading in Time Past, in Hog Past. Yes, but I had to make the Discworld reference. It's true. Not quite and and that is the GIF that Cindy has found. <laughs> it's the Time Wizard from Yu-Gi-Oh! Yes, it is. For I anyone have... who doesn't get the reference... InGen is the competing company to uh, Dr. Hammond's company in Jurassic, the Jurassic Park novels. I blocked that out, actually, but never mind about which that. Is, which is why that name keeps pulling me into Jurassic Park. We were there for the same read-through of Jurassic Park fairly recently. We were. And there's mm-hmm. a lot of that book that I have blocked out mentally. Oh, yeah. No, the, 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 <laughs> There's a there's a lot of that book that everybody has blocked out mentally because yes, the movie Dr. is Ian so Dr. Ian Malcolm better. is so much worse than in the movie. Yeah, the the movie is a hundred percent improved. I, and the best part also, is he dies in the book, but in the sequel he's one of the main characters. Mm-hmm. Mm, did not it just glosses either. over him dying because magic. No, no, Jazz science. Magic. Science that we're not going to explain. Um, I mean, we have giant Park robots in this game. Denier, so. So. And I love that this is the conversation we're having during a Dungeons & Dragons game instead of playing Dungeons & Dragons. Yes. I'm making a backup. <laughs> What's that? I'm making a backup. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Um, anyway, I'm okay we, with- uh, we, need to get, we need to find someone trusted who can dig and dig fast. You Realize do realize cold, that right? you're... Yes, I, I was going to say that. The, the, the time wizard beat me to it. I suppose that's <laughs> I fitting. <laughs> because you were both talking at the same time, I didn't hear what either of you said. We're kobolds. Yes. Dig. Yes. So we dig, need dig, someone... Dig, 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 dig. We need someone... Seven dwarves walk by for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> um, we need someone who we trust who won't be thinking about anything else while they're digging. So... I don't want to be that kobold, but is this a conversation that needs to happen in this office while you are barricading my door? Yes, because you have to pick where the secret door goes. Hmm. You know, I think it'd be funny if it went directly under this chair. We can manage that. It's only Regolith. For your warning... We might use said secret door to bypass the line in the future. Hmm? How about directly to the left of this chair? Yeah, that'll do. My Alexa has just proposed to me the top skill Starfinder. <laughs> I don't think they're talking about the Paizo game. Alexa, play Darude Sandstorm. Maximum <laughs> volume. <laughs> That I am a horrible person. Um, it's a good song, but never mind about that. So, okay. 
Is there anything else you needed other than letting me know that Kendricks is back? Congratulations. Good for you. And letting me know you want to dig a hole in my office. Well, we'll make it a secret hole so you can use it as an escape hatch if you need to, but... Oh, I, I got that. I picked up what you were putting down. But it was funnier the way I said it. Ah, yeah. Okay, I get it. Are the assistants still in the room? Yes. Assistants? Have you also been awake all night? What? That's probably a yes. That's probably a yes. Well, we are underground and on the moon. Day-night cycles are a little... And Ingen does this little wavy hand motion. Iffy here. All right, that's a good point. Well, Indeed. Make sure you get some rest, even if you have to order everyone to stop coming in for a few hours. I tried that. Hmm. I'm told that the person with the forms necessary for me to take those few hours off is in the curve. I don't know why they're calling it that. Oh, I do. Don't worry to, about it. To see me in about four hours, and then I get to sign the paperwork. Okay, so what if, um, like, when when Kendricks and I are here, we can, you know, get in uh, and out and, you know, stop this madness for you for a while, but when we're not here, I bet Gox could block the door real effectively. Oh, certainly, when Gox is not, you know, defending the moon base from giants that routinely have skirmishes at our borders. This is still a thing that's going on, you know. Yeah, but, I mean, if he's here, he can The last time Gox took a break, we had to send you out in a giant robot, and Kendricks got captured. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Maybe you can, like, hide in this tunnel to wherever and just get away that way. So... Do you totally know Daldane? Oh, I totally know Daldane. Could you send Daldane a message? Sure. What am I sending? Come here now. Okay. Mm. Cast standing. Daldane, dear, um, please come to the moon. This is Kendricks. Uh, I have been asked to get you here now. In my head, Canon, Daldane is mid concert when she <laughs> hears this. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not going to require Daldane to make a roll, but I almost want to have Daldane to make a roll to not say out loud the message being sent to Daldane. <laughs> Just because. Someone saying it while the is trying to sing. I'm not going to require that role. It'd be silly, but no. Hey, guys. I got to take a break. We got to go to the moon. Drum solo. All right. And one of your undead stagehands starts doing a drum solo. And they can do this all day mm-hmm. because they're undead and therefore do not need to eat, sleep, or breathe. They can literally drum solo until you return in three weeks' time. <laughs> right. <laughs> That well, refreshments booth is going to be wiped out. <laughs> yeah. And don't go to the porta potties after day two. Okay. Well, I'm going to say that it doesn't take Daldane much effort to get to the moon. We're not going to RP that point. So, Daldane, congratulations. Where on the moon would you go to? Wherever Chris is, or, or th- Kendricks is. Okay. Do you have the means for getting directly to Kendricks, or would you just go to the teleportation circle and think you can find them? Um. I know I said we weren't going to do the thing, and then we just did the thing, but never mind about that. I wasn't clear. That's actually a really good question. Okay, well, we're going to fast forward Uh, a little bit. We'll say hijinks ensue because the similar situation to what happened before happens now where there's a door with a lot of kobolds on one side, and you want to get to the other side, but this is Daldane, so Daldane finds a way to get through the door. Poof, Daldane is now in the room with everyone else. Oh, once Daldane's within 500 feet, Dimension Door is no problem. Hi, guys. What's that up? Best. Please tell me you're here to rule the moon. That's not what this is about, but you can tell whenever you want. I, do you want me to rule the moon? I want somebody I, I gotta, to rule the moon. I have done nothing but paperwork for 24 hours. I want oh, to take a nap. I thought it'd be to, funny at I first. Know what this it's is about. not funny. There is nothing funny about this except when this ragtag band of adventurers interrupts the work that I have to do to keep us all from starving or something. Yeah, that. I know what this is about. Just a minute. And Daldane start casting. Daldane casts Wish and wishes that Ingen <laughs> was not in charge of the moon. <laughs> Sadly, no. But, uh,. Daldane it would be the least noble cast. wish you'd ever cast. Yeah, no kidding. Daldane does cast Morden Cannon's Magnificent Mansion. 
Can you show me how to do that? Yeah, sure. Fantastic. It's a neat trick, isn't it? Hey, you yeah. guys go inside and get some sleep. Uh, and there's there's lots and lots of food in there. And uh, Zax, if you want some, there's plenty of food in there for you too. I've been um, trying to figure this one out, but I never get. It. <laughs> yeah, I could eat. I uh, broke a bunch of things earlier. It was great. But now, I'm just and thinking, uh, in, I'm just thinking about. Sets, sorry, you go. In between sets, I'll start interviewing for uh, new leaders of the Moon Colony. I was told that it needs to be a clan leader. Okay. In between sets, I'll start interviewing for leaders of the Moon Colony. I'm apparently the only clan leader on the moon that anyone could find. I'm pretty sure that Monty is still on the moon, but no one yeah. can find Monty. I'm I'm pretty good at getting people to do what I want them to do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what I want you to do is go inside that door and eat something and go to bed. Way ahead of you. How long would it take Daldane to teach me that spell? <laughs> well, Daldane knows that spell through the power of music, which is different from magic. Unfortunately, so it, yeah. But yes. It'd be like trying to a wizard trying to learn a spell from a sorcerer. Is there a way that I can retrofit how Daldane does it and kind of weave it for myself? Yeah, I can put you in so, contact with someone at uh, Nailith Academy who knows how to do it. That's where I learned it. Yes. So Meanwhile, Zach's just going to... in to eat the bacon. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming at this point half the bacon's already gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Between you and Ingen, yep. um, who has also not had any lunch breaks for 24 hours. I just really want that spell. <laughs> so, you know, every time you level up, you get to add a couple spells to your spell book. It's not baseline for wizards. You have to learn it. Oh. And tragically, it's also level seven. So, yeah, you got, you got some work to do. But I can. But Daldane will happily put you in touch with the person at Nailith, which she learned it from. This is not guaranteed to be a wizard. You know, Aristabulus, as I recall, <laughs> frequently <laughs> tried to get his hands on the spell Leoman's Tiny Hut, which we and all canonically, have. All of us have, and canonically, never got it. Yep. There was a part of his inner sanctum sanctorum that he set on fire before it was before he knew that it had been willed to him oh, by the previous that owner that contained that's right yeah and based on a die roll i decided nope you don't find that spell and the reason why that i didn't tell the player behind aristobulus <laughs> is yeah that's the part he set on fire <laughs> canonically he did cry when he read the it, will <laughs> it is wizard baseline i get it at level 7 okay never mind but if oh. you might not be able to get it from Aristobulus because of the tragic fire. But I already have uh, Liam and Stanley, huh? Okay. Well, you didn't learn it from Ari. <laughs> that, no, that is one where you I, can't point at him and say, I learned it from watching you. But I imagine I would have taught Ari Liam and Stanley, huh? Then, yeah, Marwise okay. can probably hook you up, too. That, that was the day that he decided you were free to go off and you, you had become a master. So you were, you were no longer the <laughs> apprentice. Because you had taught him a spell that he had, that had been a lifelong ambition for him, but never mind about that. Okay, so Daldane has sent you all into a magnificent mansion, full of bacon, half full of bacon, a Not quarter full bacon. of bacon, uh, ten percent bacon. There's no more bacon. Best bacon ever. I'll have the cream of, of mushroom soup. It smells faintly of bacon. <laughs> And this is where everyone is completely quiet because they don't know what to do next. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I, was talking, I was talking, but I was muted. Can oh. be running around looking at the mansion and just see, trying to figure out how it all operates and what it's all made of because he's super into it. In my head, Canon, he's got like either a monocle or goggles or something to examine it more closely. Oh, he has goggles. He has goggles on his head. Okay, so yeah. I was right about a thing. The DM <laughs> was right about a thing. Mark this day on your calendar. The DM was right about a thing. It happens so rarely. Oh my gosh, what is this <laughs> oh, look you have at found? that. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think that's a happy puppy, but those are in fact goggles. It, it's a pug. They never really look happy. Well, this is also true. They have a hard time breathing. But, um, so because the, the type of refreshments that exist inside the mansion, it, it's a mutable thing. Yes, it's mostly bacon, but there's beverages also. Ingen has um, 
upended a, a bottle of refreshment. Let's put it that way. Those are cool looking goggles. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think they're very functional or effective. But, but those are the goggles I've envisioned that he has. But in a fantasy setting, we can say they're both. Oh, no, those are extremely functional and effective. Those are super functional and effective. Yeah, those are real yeah, things. The, that's the um, the loop on the right eye is probably five to ten times magnification. The transparent lens on the left eye is probably two to three. And the black lens is a blackout so that you can look through the loop. Hmm. Okay. Well, with that said... Ingen is noticeably impaired at this moment. Has he fallen asleep yet? As a reminder, the Magnificent Mansion provides food and housing for 100 people. Yes, or 25 people and Zach's or God's. Zach's, right. (laughs) Yep. All right, well, I'm going to... One of these days, a barbarian is going to gain spell slots in here. Just you wait. (laughs) And I totally talked over Cindy, and I apologize. I'm going to put one arm around Ingen's shoulder and guide him to his bed. He is blubbering at this point. This mansion's good for 24 hours. Take all the time you need. They can't get in. They said I just have to sign some forms. So many forms. You know, if we... Could you... Could you... Could you do me a, a big favor? Get Sniv back. Get Sniv back. Why does Sniv have to go? I mean, yes, a significant number of kobolds wanted to burn him in effigy. Okay, I think they actually just wanted to burn him. But that was no reason for him to leave. Okay, okay. In addition to some assistance, maybe just think about setting up a hierarchy, delegating some of your more regular responsibilities. You know, form a cabinet. Wait, you... You chased off the previous cute guy? This Wait, almost that... sobers Ingen up. I like what? Sniv. He knew all the paperwork I needed to have my concerts. Didn't uh... you hear? There was a revolution, and all the different guilds chased him out. When they said, Ingen, you're a clan leader. You got the job. Ingen, buddy, go to bed. All right, I have some work to do. we... The rest of the moon kobolds kicked Sniv off because Sniv was a jerk. He would not let us resurrect kobolds, and he kicked anyone who wasn't a kobold off the moon, regardless of how friendly they were. Yeah, yep. Sniv, Sniv's a bit of a tyrannical dictator. Or was. But also right, apparently but... the only person who was willing to deal with the paperwork. Is Ingen a gone and a way to bed now? Um, I'll, I'll leave Ingen and I would say... Okay, sorry, but... Yeah, he's currently snoring, and I'll even get a note saying, when you wake up, before you even see anybody else, form a cabinet. Delegate hey, your responsibilities. Mahogany is preferred. Way, well, I think, think, about it, little... think about it this way. If a kobold's dead, the people we have casting resurrection, it doesn't really matter how long they've been dead, does it? Yes, it does. Marwise told me that. Oh, well... It, it does, yeah. There's time limits on, uh, based on how expensive it'll be and stuff like that, yeah. I mean, but, like, how expensive it'll be, it'll be, like, it's it's like a day versus day a year? versus, like, a month versus a year. If it gets to the year point, I think, it, I think out, of, out of character, I think it works out, like, 25,000 platinum. Oh. And yeah, well, once you're out of expenses. year, I think True Resurrection is the only thing that works. Which is the one that's 25,000 platinum. Like and that. while expenses aren't too much of a big deal when you have multiple kobolds who are level 19 and can cast Wish, the prevailing thought process of many kobolds had unfortunately reached the point where they were thinking, well, if I die, they're just going to bring me back. So they were taking risks that were more unnecessary than you normally see from and, kobolds. And, and Daldane is explaining this. It, it, and also, it, no, I I get what you're saying. I understand. I really do. But if death is cheap, then people are just going to run out against right. whatever. 
giants. Dragons, giants, and assume that we're going to resurrect them. And Sniff just wanted to keep the kobolds safe. He didn't that was explicitly not out. what he told us. Well, that might be explicitly not what he told us, but what he told you. But I think that was the function. Yeah, I probably could. Oh, I, yeah. I think uh, the function of what he was deciding was to make sure that people didn't take unnecessary risk. The people who can, the people who can take the risks should take the risks. People like you. People who know what they're doing. People who are competent. Instead of just being kobold inventors fresh out of the egg. I'm sorry, you see used the word cloud. competent. That's funny. Yeah, I know. <laughs> who see, who I... see a cloud giant and say, I'm going to take this guy on, and if I die, they'll just resurrect me. I see where you're coming from, but that assumes benevolence from Sniv, which is counter to everything we've seen from them, including when they had the said incompetent kobolds build a shoddy rocket to force the warforged and myconids off the planet. Or Technically, off the it wasn't so much a rocket. It was a ballistic trajectory back to the surface. Okay, but, but, but very quickly, I might have a way to solve the whole in- Ingus not wanting to be leader thing. Okay, so, uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a bard. My, I'm happy to listen to what other, what songs people are playing. Um, I could just modify memory and make him happy about being the leader. Mm, I don't know. No, what that's... no, no. You do that. <laughs> that sounds I a little you. weird. It's a how long does that? How long does that does last? This cupcake looks stale to you. It's it's permanent. I don't think it can be stale. It's, it's you know, just so made it, in here. I was permanent. making a reference to Critical Role. Never mind. Yes, he was. It's permanent. Oh, no. Um, and if I cast it at a higher level, it can make it, it would be an appropriate amount of time to make it stick. So, what you're saying is mind control. You want to no. What you're saying is you want to make him happy that he's been in charge so far, and then. But also kind From of make him point. focus and agree and be and give not not agree make him focus mm, on know. what needs to be done and give him the ideas to best set out and make it easier for him. You know, dev, what's the word? Not diversify. Um, delegate. It doesn't go forward. I don't think. It doesn't go forward, but I, it, I can. So I, what I can so do is I you're can, not altering his personality. No, God, no. Oh, God, no. It, it, so, it, okay, so, wait, I don't so you're it. making him happy to have been in charge for however long he's been in charge, and then as soon as he gets back to his desk, he's going to be miserable again. What I can do is give him, is make him happy for what he's done currently, but also give him the seed of a few ideas that would make it a little easier for him. I'm still putting a hard stance, no. How yeah. about if I have a conversation mm-hmm. with Sniv if you can and find let him know, you know where Sniv is? that he needs to let you know the logistics behind his decisions and run them by people. Like you said, have a cabinet. I Give so want to make a furniture pun. <laughs> I'm sorry, I talked over you, Ellie. You could... You could give him the inter-clan kobold editors and advisors that would make sure that what he was doing was for the benefit of everybody and not just the people he thought was important. Wait, are we talking about Ingen or Sniv? Oh. Whoever remains in charge. But Sniv seemed much better suited to it. Meanwhile, I Monty in an other close location is saying, I, still not it. <laughs> and Chris, I, I was using interclan as one word. Oh, Ikea. <laughs> um, I... So, whereas I don't ing- agree with everything Sniv did, he kept order until there wasn't. What I will say is the biggest issue is that our everything is ran by one person the problem with the moon base is that 
let's be quite frank and honest. It is essentially a cobalt colony away from away from Circulus. It needs Indeed. it needs its own independent government, if anything. It can't just be run by one person. It needs people who are of both opinions on both sides. I don't think we should have any of the clan leaders running it, because they are too busy running Circulus. Flash I forward, you're going to have a bunch of kobolds tossing tea into space. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. One person <laughs> thought it was funny. It's a lunar tea party. I, I chuckled a little. It was kind of under my breath, though. I was... I'll take it. The moon base needs to be independent from the circular cobalts. One if by space, two if by also space. Mm. <laughs> Not... Uh, okay. I think I can sell that, but... I figured you would. You need to support whoever is in charge here until we reach a verdict down on the surface. Hey, because we, we followed Sniv's orders until they yeah, were deposed we by did. the people. We did follow I, who was in charge. I'm really glad to hear that. What I'm I'm not saying you need to follow their orders. I'm seeing I'm saying there needs to not be chaos on okay. the moon. And I know the chaos is because now there's new leadership. Everybody wants to put their suggestion in. I thought it was and because it's... you are all kobolds. No, that's that's like fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. no we're, we're lawful evil. I will go down to the Council of Tales, and I will talk to them about it. And I will convince them that the moon needs an elected government... Anyone else think it's crazy that us, as a, as a species, we allow our leaders to be just the ones who's older? Anyone else think that's a bit insane? Uh, well, I'm not that's one not to judge. Minute. I'm technically a species of two. That's uh, not a universal rule, but that is by far the trend. But, I mean, what, biologically we're capable of living 100 years, but most of us are lucky to live past five? Technically yeah, well, more like 200, but yeah. That's, that's changed. How old, are, how old is everyone? Oh, goodness. I I have been told that Monty has been around for 250 years. I'm 15. Monty's a special case. I, I'm 15. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm in my 20s. I, I, I'm not very good at converting kobold or different species ages. But mentally, I have Zenosha as being the equivalent of like a, a 21 or 22-year-old, whatever that is for kobolds. Daldine's just been lost track of the number of New Year's concerts she's played. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> JR is if I, JR is as old as this campaign, so I would say yeah. maybe a year. Okay. All right. It looks like when we started the campaign, Zax was five. I don't know how. Yeah, long. I think Neri was in the upper <laughs> single digits. Oh my goodness! Remember that first camp? Remember that first? Adventure where we were dealing with the the unicorn. Oh, I believe wow. it was a yeah. moose. Was it a unicorn? I think it was a moose. It, it was I, a unicorn. No, it was a unicorn. A unicorn. Mm-hmm. I thought it was there, a moose. there were there were other things you had to deal with, but the unicorn was the, the, one of the things at the end of the adventure. And also, the several and hags. The moose. The, and not the moose, the witches. Oh hags. yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, yeah, the antagonists were three hags that did not appear to be hags when you first met them. Right. And we I, ate their food. Yep. I just don't... <laughs> I just think it's insane that we allow our government to run just because, oh, you're older. I get it. I get it when we all kind of lived like four, five years and then everyone died. That's not the case anymore. We're an actual civilization at this point. We're a society. Well... Well, it I'm sounds sure. like we're making moves to change that on the moon, and Daldane... I'm pretty sure Monty doesn't want that. Mm. And he's probably the oldest of all... Well, again, Monty's a special case. Why? That's not something I'm allowed to tell you. Mm. But, uh... But ask That's... Zeely. <laughs> anyway, I'll go down and talk to the Council of Tales okay. and make them understand... That the moon wants self-governance by whoever is most qualified, not whoever is the oldest, and not definitely not whoever is a clan leader, because clan leaders are idiots. 
Mm. aren't prepared to deal with paperwork. And there needs to be more than one person making decisions. I think Engin yes. here has proven that because our choice we, right now... We could have, like, we can have, like, a, a president or a first minister or something like that, but then underneath them there's everyone else who's helping make these decisions and doing paperwork and all of that. But yes, they, but the person in charge, the person at the very top, also cannot be um, above the law, you know? What what departments would you suggest? President um, Meepo. Glitter oh. in every... Well, just every. <laughs> just every. every. Wow. Well, short term, we definitely need someone running repairs because that's been a big drain on resources. Yeah, so basic maintenance. We so, need somebody good at tactical strategy. Military. Um, we need someone teaching the next generation. So education and... Given how quickly we die, you know, probably someone who knows how to patch us up that's not just resurrection magic. Yeah, healthcare, but, you know, like a universal healthcare. Wouldn't well, that be so overly good. expensive? Not if, we, not if we tax our people appropriately. Everyone pays in, everyone gets it for free. I'm like I really love confused how political now, y'all. this is getting to be very honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm loving I... everything about this, and it's <laughs> probably making funny. for a horrible episode to listen to, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, th- I think I'm you know, a great time. yeah. Global parliamentary procedure. I think the first thing we need is tactical strategy because if we can get somebody that can organize that and like train well. I mean, I know Gox is trying, but he's just one kobold. Um, that'll solve a lot of our problems right there. You know. Is Gox still technically a kobold? Uh, yeah. I mean, he's the, just also the, a dragon. The problem is some of our best allies are because the wall because. The, dimensional barriers are closed locked off to us i mean Sox is still in Faerun. oh yeah so what i'm hearing is uh you've got mechanics medicine defense and education yeah we said have you said have medicine yes yeah i think those are the big four if we need more we can add more later but those are the most pressing i can think of a fifth bacon Economic economy, uh, household, not household. What am I thinking of? Homeland Structural security. Maintenance. Sorry, what? Department oh, of the interior. Maintenance. Yes, the Department of the Interior. By which I mean the interior of the, the structure moon. work. The interior of the moon. So that would be where all the cobalt tunnels are. So, engineering, medicine, education, defense, and interior. That kobold that brought you your coffee could be in charge of engineering. And a prime minister who is the face of the moon. If you get your not Megazord to run for leader, they could be the Optimus (laughs) prime minister. (laughs) Kobolds transform and roll out. (laughs) Want one of us to run? Not it. I don't think anybody no, wants to be in charge. I, 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 think, you're, to do that. Exactly. I think you're more useful in the field. I'll start talking to people. Perhaps we can have elections. Am I going to have to make the rules for a mini game that's about elections oh, no. on yes. the moon with yes, cobalt? You are. Yes, oh, you are. I'm not opposed oh, to no. this. Oh, However, no. we have been playing for just over two hours. So what do you say we end it here? Yep. Let's put a pin in this. This has been an interesting session that did not go the way I thought it would. <laughs> and I have, on the moon, we carry and I have, a harpoon. <laughs> <laughs> I've already given one of your characters inspiration. I'm not giving inspiration to the other one. Uh, <laughs> Any time Dull Dane is brought in, it doesn't end the way I thought it was going to end. And I'm totally okay with this. <laughs> Even if it's just like, well, I'm glad we're not doing any fights because Dull Dane is here. Level 19, how do you balance that? Right. Uh, but this Dull has Dane, been fun. I, did, I suggested she be brought in so that she could cast Morton Caden's Magnificent Mansion and go back to, go back to the And instead, she her. decided to... To, um, to, to revolutionize the Cobalt of, of Liberty. <laughs> uh, Freedom! <laughs> You can take their lives. Do you hear the kobolds sing, singing the songs of angry kobolds? 
Oh no. <laughs> I mean that works, but still. Okay, so we are on rails, but they're not the rails I thought we were going to be on. We jumped a track and landed on another track successfully. I don't know where this one's going, however, which is great. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Thank you, everyone, for playing. This has been a blast. I went into this tired, but now this is fantastic. Uh, tonight, I was joined by a bunch of awesome people, including Chris, Ellie, Jen, and Cindy. Beth was hanging out in chat. And who's got stuff to plug? He is my Mom Books. <laughs> at elizabeth-mccoy.com because there are some actually very serious issues that I need to solve before the other one goes live. Still okay, does but, the books, though. <laughs> yes, still does the books. And what if I wanted to listen to, like, a general gaming podcast? Oh, 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 I, I've, I don't got, know. I've, I've got you started on that one. Not very good, but you can do it. Um, it's called Azeroth Coast to Coast. We talk about all nerd things, and we talk D, World of Warcraft, Final Fantasy, a little bit of Diablo here and there. Uh, it's signed as AzerothCTC.com. I mean, we're I, I, a Dungeons & Dragons-themed podcast on the internet. I don't think our target <laughs> audience is into nerd stuff. Mm. I know, right? Wait, 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 can, I, can I ask a question that I've been meaning to ask for actually several years now? Yes, sir. Which coasts? Azeroth coast to coast. Um, we are now literally based in East Coast, West Coast USA, and Central Scotland. So... Like the East Coast of, I don't East Coast know, East. US, West Coast US. No, no, yeah, West Scotland. Coast US, East West Coast, Coast US, for, East Coast East, for East West Coast, Coast for Great Britain. No, I'm Central yeah. Scotland. Well, We're close enough. Fine. The idea just, of Azeroth Coast to Coast was that you're getting opinions from America, from the UK, um, and all that jazz. That was the idea of it, so Coast to Coast. Okay, fine. If you want to join a social network, uh, elekk.xyz is a very good site. It's now run by Millie and Reese, and they are excellent admins. So if you want to join, ask anyone there for an invite. And, and several of us have accounts there. Uh, yep. Matter of fact, Jen has an account there, and I have repeatedly seen Jen post things about a different podcast. Right. I'm the host of the Shattered Soulstone podcast at ShatteredSoulstone.com. It's about the Diablo games and books and lore and whatever else connects with that. Sometimes touches on other Blizzard games briefly, but it's mostly about the Diablo stuff. And again, that's at ShatteredSoulstone.com. I also have BookOfGen.net, which also has a lot of Diablo content on it, as well as other video games and other random things unrelated to video games. That's BookOfGen.net. If you uh, are listening to this and you're a fan of Shattered Soulstone, you can get a Shattered Soulstone t-shirt on my Redbubble at Book of Jen on Redbubble. And the video, the gameplay videos I do uh, end up eventually on YouTube, but they're also at bookofjen.net. If they're on YouTube, you look for Book of Jen and find it all that way. <laughs> That's it. And we also have a Patreon. Patreon.com slash Gaming. Help us keep the lights on because server space and registrars and stuff like that cost money. Uh, you can join other patrons, including Chris, Cindy, Ellie, Eric, Janadalok, Mickey, Shan Shen, and Walter. And until next time, this is Crash saying, hmm, maybe next time I should do my research first. Eh. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night.